Okay, YouTubers, I hope you guys can see this video okay because it's evening time and the uh, lighting ain't quite right. But this is the uh, rod I just pulled out of the reactor and the uh, darker section of it on the top. That's actually going to be the uh, that's the top and this side's the bottom. If you notice, I don't have nothing done fancy on the back side of it and uh, the front side, not much different. This side down here used to be the back, but I flipped this rod around and uh, to where I actually got I don't know if you can see that yeah. hang on okay I just took this rod out and like I was talking about in the forum, I decided to set a go with the magnetics. I'm just going to go with uh, the actual south and based on the compass. And so the red side, that's the north, points to the north pole, and that points to the south pole, the white side. And the way I got the reactor configured right now is I got the magnetic north on the bottom, on the input of the intake to the reactor, where the fresh fuel comes in up the rod. And now, on the back side, I ain't got this one totally burned in yet, so I don't even know where magnetic signatures quite are. But right here, right where that burning starts, that's uh, that's going to be my magnetic south on top. And I want to orient the rest of the reactor with the auric field. You guys probably heard people mention. And, um, yeah. Uh, actually, this thing's touchy. Well, anyways, south again, magnetic north on the bottom. Now I'm using the T304 for the inner tube. And like I said, I just took that rod out. And I'm going to start it up for it for a few minutes. And I'm going to show you how rich of a burn I got this thing going at. Where, when I take it out, the bottom end of it is actually cold. I can grab the rod just like this as soon as I took it out of the reactor. I can't touch that side of it, though. It's where the fuel just starts to burn. And, uh, Makeshift carburetor. You see? And that's the, uh, well, it's actually the opposite of what free plans say to do, but actually, you don't know if they're referring to actual magnetic south and north or if they're referring to geographical, like what we consider north and south, because our north pole is an actually magnetic south and our south pole is actually a magnetic north. I just found that out not too long ago, actually, but... Oh, I'm gonna make sure... Oh, I'm gonna need to work. Yep, okay. That rod is about five and a half inches long. I started... I took one of the older ones I was working with to, uh... and I flipped it around and gonna retry to burn it and it seems to work I use the same rods all the time I never have no problems with it some people cut new ones but I've had nothing but bad luck cutting new rods every time and moved up Also, I wanted to show you guys how far that was. All the flows on this thing, almost all the way. And I got the carburetor pushed in like that. Out like that, all the way out. And you guys will see where it runs at.
set really rich. Not very much fresh air going into the reactor. It seems to work really well. thing configured and where it was the same flows and I was getting uh, upwards of 30 amps. But this thing's touchy, man. I was getting high readings for a little while and then it quit on me again. But it runs about the same. I can tell by from the rod though when the uh, fuel is burning in the reactor, which really cuts down and causes it to use a lot more fuel and the reactor gets a lot hotter. This right here broke on me. Had the little flange welded on there right there. And it broke, so I had a jerry rig half inch. That's my fog pump I'm going to hook up and probably pull on it, maybe for an auxiliary fuel source or something like that, I don't know. I don't think you guys can see it that time. I saw this stuff. 